If your doctor is not talking about NO2, an amazing biological molecule discovered lately in 1998, it got some three scientists Nobel Prize, then your doctor needs to go for a refresher because nitric oxide is an amazing, amazing molecule. It is very, very important for cardiovascular health. It actually increases your blood circulation and lowers your blood pressure. It also enhances your energy and it also is a exercise boosting uh, molecule. It uh, makes sure the O2, which is oxygen, reaches your muscles and uh, it is amazing for immune health and brain health. Uh, you talk of anything, it is one of the most amazing discoveries we have had in recent times. Now, I'm going to be more focused talking about what you can do to increase the nitric oxide production in your body. Now, there's been a lot of scientific evidences on a lot of things that I'm gonna to talk to you about today. I'm gonna to try to link as many as things as possible. So number one, if you are not eating beetroot, and if you have, uh, you're have, you doing yourself a disfavor, especially I literally had made a video saying that uh, a beetroot a day, now it comes with a caveat, I'm gonna to talk to you about that. A beetroot a day um, keeps you away from the blue pill. Uh, which you understand for men's health. And uh, that refers to better erections in men. And the reason I say that is because better circulation in the body means it's uh, better blood everywhere else in the body. Now, uh, what do you do? Eat beetroots. But if you have kidney issues uh, or other problems related to kidney stones, it does have some oxalates. So you need to be aware of that. Uh, number two, eat greens eat greens when i say greens greens like spinach arugula kale these are full of nitrates so these nitrates get converted into nitric oxide through a special mechanism there are certain bacteria on the end of your tongue that actually help convert that nitrates that you've eaten into nitric oxide and this nitric oxide will go through your system and ensure that you have lower blood pressure your heart health is healthy your uh, circulation in your entire body is more. That means more oxygen to all the cells of your body, which means if a cell is not healed, let's say it is damaged due to some reason. Now, when the oxygen goes in, the metabolic activity takes place, the cell reheals itself, and then uh, what happens? You're healthier. You get healthy faster. It's an anti-aging molecule as well. Garlic. In case you don't have garlic in your life, add garlic to your life. Garlic enhances the nitric oxide production and uh, the reason it enhances it is because of the nitric oxide uh, production is enhanced because of it stimulates the nitric oxide synthesis, synthase and that is how it enhances the nitric oxide production. Number three, and I love it, pomegranates. They are... Uh, very rich in antioxidants without a doubt they're anti-aging product um, they say eat few pomegranates a day to keep your heart healthy pom was the brand that came into limelight because of that and the reason is because of nitric oxide production so pomegranates eat them every day if you, at least in the season i like everything seasonal and regional so pomegranates to me are very nice when they are in season and nowadays they actually give, sell you pomegranates that are already pre-peeled. Number four, watermelon. Watermelon is an amazing thing. Cucumber also, by the way, because of the citrulline and cucumber in watermelon, which ultimately gets converted into nitric oxide. Uh, and that is an amazing product. It's omega-3s. Now I take supplement myself with um, a fish oil. But in case you want, you can add uh, chia seeds, flax seeds to your uh, meals, and that way you can get the omega 3s. I do get chia seeds and flax seeds whenever uh, I can uh, because they also, the chia and flax seeds, help with regulating your balls, which is an added benefit. But omega 3 supplementation is very important because omega 3 not only help with nitric oxide production, they also help lower your triglycerides. Uh, and omega-3 have a lot of uh, anti-inflammatory effects. They are really good for cardiovascular health. 
which is uh, nowadays the need. Uh, number six, probiotics. Uh, probiotics help uh, with healthy gut, which means ultimately you get the nitric oxide production. Uh, number seven, which is the toughest thing for me to do, is cold showers. They also help with nitric oxide production. But that is one thing that I personally may skip because I'm a warm water fan. One of the reasons I left India and came to US, one of the reasons, a small reason, is in India back in the day, I'm not talking nowadays, it's electricity is every time, all the time. But back in the day, you used to have electricity several hours a day not be there. And secondly, you had to a geyser, which used to warm up the water like uh, it took hours and the, every family member was waiting. And I said, oh, I need hot showers. So if you can bear a cold shower, more nitric oxide to you. This one I'll skip. Number eight, dark chocolates, which is my love. I love dark chocolates. I eat literally every day, 100% dark chocolate, 100%. Don't go for the sugary stuff. They'll ruin your teeth and they'll mess you up. Don't do that. If you're gonna eat something, eat 100% dark chocolate. Make it a habit, take it as medicine. It helps you with nitric oxide production. Number nine, yoga. When you do yoga, you're breathing like ujjayi breath. You're making these noises, you're activating your paranasal paranasinuses. Uh, so, uh, all that entire area. This helps you ultimately with nitric oxide production and also meditation. That's an amazing thing. It gets the parasympathetic system started in your body, helps you with nitric oxide production. Number 10, which I actually do every day, nuts and seeds and avocados. These are things that are full of magnesium and that also helps with nitric oxide production. And uh, not to say the least, if you're actually doing all this, you're not only ensuring your heart healthy, you're also ensuring you have good circulation so that as you age, you age healthy. And in case you have any questions about it, please put it in the comments. I try to read comments, especially initially when I load the video, I read every comment. In case you have not subscribed to my channel, I please beg you, please subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of work to get this information out to you. I'm a busy businessman, but my whole idea is to bridge the gap, bridge the gap of my knowledge and give it to you. Simultaneously bridge the gap and bring some of the best products in the world to the underserved at prices that are affordable. And, but let me tell you, apart from everything, nitric oxide. Remember that word, tongue scrape every day because that is an amazing tool that does help you with nitric oxide production in seconds. Tongue scrape every day. And then last but not the least, hum every day. So deep breathe in and do that as many times, at least 10 times every day, which would take you less than 10 minutes or eight minutes. And I bet you this would not only have give you a peace of mind by increasing the parasympathetic system in, in your body that kind of takes away the flight and fight syndrome that you're fighting with every day of your life. It gets you in the rest and digest period. Also increases you your nitric oxide in your body, which is going to keep you healthy and happy. Smile.